Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to look at how to check for exhaust fumes in the antifreeze. If we're checking for exhaust fumes in the antifreeze, chances are we've got some sort of an issue with our engine. My guess was you're looking for a head gasket malfunction. The exhaust gases, which normally should go out the tailpipe through the exhaust manifold, through the catalytic converter, and out the back, are somehow getting into the cooling system. Chances are they're coming through the head gasket. The head gasket is a device that keeps the top of the engine and the bottom of the engine separate. There's a series of holes and ports where oil and antifreeze flow through. If you're getting these fumes in your engine, you're going to have a couple of telltale signs. One is you're going to be consuming antifreeze with no logical place that you see a leak. You can tell if you have a leaky head gasket or exhaust fumes in your antifreeze by looking at your radiator cap. The exhaust fumes are extremely hot. The combustion temperature in this vehicle can reach as much as 2,500 degrees. So if these gases get into your cooling system, they're going to escape through the overflow tank because the air wants to get out of the system. And you'll see evidence of the gases going by these rubber gaskets. If you see telltale signs of these rubber gaskets deteriorating, you'll know that you have exhaust gases in your cooling system. The first test we're going to do on this vehicle is we're going to test the fumes that are coming out of this engine. The fumes are captured in the overflow tank. The overflow tank is located here in this car. Before I test the gases in the overflow, overflow tank, I'm going to take this car for a good long ride and get it nice and hot. I want to build up as many exhaust gases as possible. If they're going somewhere, I want them to go into that overflow tank. And then I'm going to test to see if they're there. So this combustion leak tester, I'm going to put the combustion leak test fluid in the cylinder, as well as the second cylinder, up to the fill line. This fluid is specially formulated to turn yellow when it detects exhaust gases. If I was testing a diesel engine, this fluid would turn green if it detected exhaust gases. It works quite simply. I'm going to stick it on the overflow tank and I'm going to pull the air that's in the tank through the fluid. If there's any carbon monoxide, or hydrocarbons in the air, it's going to turn this fluid yellow. They do two test ports in order to ensure accuracy. If I was to get a positive reading, I would do this test all over again just to confirm accuracy. So after running this car and getting it up to temperature and leaving the cap on the overflow, I'm going to take the tool and stick it in the overflow container. I'm going to squeeze the pump, I'm going to cover the valve with my finger, and I'm going to pull air through the fluid. As you can see, it bubbles up quite nicely as there's a diffuser at the bottom of each one of these holes. And everything looks to be okay. The fluid did not change color. Everything is in order. And I can tell that this engine has no exhaust gases in the cooling system, according to this tool. So another way to test for exhaust gases in the cooling system is simply to look at the coolant. I like to use this spill-free funnel. It works well for filling up the cooling system or checking for these exhaust gases. I'm going to look down inside and I'm going to see that the fluid is circulating. I can see the hotter fluid mixing with the colder fluid because it looks like heat rising. I can tell that my thermostat is open because my hose is getting hot. If I squeeze the hose slightly, I can see the fluid actuate back and forth. What I'm looking for is exhaust bubbles. Bubbles that come out of the cooling system with steam inside of them, those are going to be exhaust gases and that's pretty much a problem for this engine. We'll need to take the top of the engine apart, remove the cylinder head, and check the head gasket, as well as all the ports on the cylinder head, as well as the engine cylinders, to see how this exhaust gas is getting into this cooling system. So these are some tests on how to tell if you have exhaust gases in your cooling system. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.